Okay, so in an S550, if you're trying to put in aftermarket seats, one of the things that you have to do to make sure your airbag lights don't stay on and various things like that. So this is the bladder. This is the connector for it. This is the hose that goes to the bladder. Now you can cut this. Just make sure that you cut it that is facing downward. All this, this is fluid filled. So you can cut it and then you can actually put a screw or something inside of it, clamp it down, and that will keep the airbag light from going on. But it doesn't make it so that the airbags will go off because you need pressure on this, the bladder itself, for the airbags to actually go on and it actually explode in the case that you want them to explode. So you need to take this whole thing out. So what you're doing is first you're taking the harness off the underside of this, which is a pain, especially if you have things like this here, which is the uh, uh, heated and cooled seats because this pin likes to melt and freeze on your harness. Um, so basically you take all the harness off, then you take off these clips here, 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 here. You can actually leave this side on. You just take the one off that's right here and that allows you to pull this back. Now, I already did this, but so now you can take these little poppets out and that allows you to pull this out of here. All you have to do is make sure you get the sensor as well. And now you have the full bladder out intact and now you can plug it in under the passenger seat and get your airbag to light to actually extinguish as well as you also need to do the resistor trick which I will show you later. All right, so now we're gonna try to get this airbag light off in the car using the harness that we took out of the original OEM seats to now put into our aftermarket seats that we have in the car, really just to get the airbag light so you know how many weird lights and maybe something else. So we'll see, let's see if uh, it all works out. All right, so here's the passenger side harness, obviously as you can tell, with the bladder. So this is the uh, airbag plug, what I have done, as you can kind of see, is I've taken a 2.2 ohm 1 watt, 1 watt resistor, soldered it in line using a couple of wires, just shoved it into the actual plug itself so I didn't have to kill the OEM harness plug. And that's in there pretty securely, um, but what I'll do at the very end once I verify everything works is I'll go ahead and tape all of this up just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. This plug is going to be used for the seat belt itself. So we're gonna make sure to plug this in. And this is the plug that matters as this is the plug that actually goes to the harness to tell the airbags are good. This is just another plug for all the other redundant stuff that's going on that really doesn't matter if plugged in or not, but I will just keep the harness secure. So that's okay, I guess. You could also go really hog wild and parse this down, um, essentially cutting this in half and seeing which wires go to which, so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, you could really break this down, which I might do, um, being the fact that you don't have any necessity for this connector and anything that goes on with this, it would be very advantageous to cut this open and hopefully you end up with like the airbag, the uh, bladder, and this all in one loom, and all the other stuff in another loom, and that would actually really cut down on the amount of crap you gotta have underneath the seat. Now, now here is the driver side again. We only really need this plug here. This is what I did on this side. I had ordered this stuff from DNA Motoring trying different options here. Um, they sell these, which is basically, it has a fuse built in with some little connectors with the, um, the resistor built in right here, uh, which interestingly enough, I don't know if these are 2.2, one watt, 10 watt, 20 watt, no idea what kind of wattage they are. 
all you can do is really ohm them out, and they do ohm at, I believe these ohmed at uh, 2.1, 2.2, round about what it's supposed to be. So that should be good. Uh, I didn't mention this on the passenger side, but you also need this sensor here, which is the seating position sensor to make sure you're not a little Asian woman parked right up next to the dash to get hit by the airbag. So that's what that does. And that's all, there's no bladder on this side. So this one makes it very simple, which again, if I parse this down, the only connectors that I need on this entire harness are this one, which you don't even need the connector. You could literally cut this all the way down just to stubs of wires coming out of here. Um, or, and you need this connector here and this connector here for the seatbelt connector itself. Everything else is useless. Um, obviously this is if you're installing aftermarket seats. So again, I could really cut this down and make this into something much, much smaller. Um, and I might do that after I verify that this all works. All right, so now here's the true test. Let's put the ignition on. Let's see if we have an airbag light stay. Boom, airbag light off. So, looks like all the little tricks work, and we can get our airbag light off.